going to be playing some original Fallout today. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing good. Uh, I say we just jump right into it. So, here we are. <laughs> we'll just start a new game. And, and it's good to see everybody out there. Hello. Um, oh, let me turn up my volume there. Sorry about that. Alright, um, I have a character saved that I'd like to use. Max Chad. Here he is, boys. <coughs> so we're going to use this. Uh, the reason I like using this build so much is a lot of people who haven't played the first Fallout or the second Fallout will come to these streams and they'll check it out and then they can see a build that works for them if they want to just get through the game. Anyway. Ha, I'm not playing with the fixed spot. The Good. reason I'm doing this stream series, by the way, a big one. is the chip for our water due to the success of the show, how much I like the show. The ghost. Um, I wanted to stream through all of the Fallout games, the so that's the crawl out through the Fallout series. Um, is why it's named that. Um, we're running out of drinking water. So we're gonna be doing that. No vault. This is and uh, yeah. No, oh, oh, so that's why I'm not playing with the mods. Is because I feel like people who haven't experienced these games are gonna be here. So I'm going to kind of vanilla them. controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault. Oh, impact! You, you're giving it a seven out of ten. Yeah, I, I rated it a little higher than that, but that is fine and dandy. Do I still stream 76? Yeah, I have a current run. Um, in fact, I'm just going to continue that run with 76 when we hit that marker in the Fallout series. Just be safe. I'm going to do all of them. Okay. So that means tactics, Brotherhood. Um, I'll probably even play a little bit of Shelter before we jump into four, just to like make sure it's on the list. That always reminds you of Charleston Heston. Well, there you go. Charlton Heston. My mistake. 8 out of 10 show says, uh, Dank. Yeah, uh, I shoot it, uh, closer to 9, not even... Yeah, I don't care if you discuss the show here. Um, for people, you know, who haven't watched it that plan to, there may be spoilers in the chat. I may discuss spoilers of the show during these streams. Thank you for the live reacts. I see those. Um... I thought it was fucking great. Yeah, the show exposed Sinclair as being a for sure sugar daddy in that situation. <laughs> Alright, um... First things you want to do now, um, I got something on Twitter, uh, before I went live, someone was like, can't wait to watch you die to the rats. I'm gonna show you right here. First off, there's a way, okay, I can show you both ways, all right? Um, without even using any ammo, like, um, let me see what the character sheet says about. So my unarmed is 72 and my melee is 62. The knife is likely to do more damage even though we'll miss more often. So I'll, I'll likely do this. I'll show you right now how to not get hit by these rats, but then I'll also show you how to like literally just skip this entire fucking bit if you don't want to deal with the rats. So first things you want to do, is make a uh, quick save slot. Uh, we always use the Max Chad stream um, <laughs> save slot. Uh, Dick Cheat refers to Dick Lord. He's a cheated character, so he's maxed out. Uh, I like doing those streams every once in a while too, where we just max them out in the Fallout character editor. So we'll, we'll maybe we'll do that sometime too. But we're gonna save in the Max Chad sc uh, stream, and then um, come over here. Saving is a big part of this game. I just immediately get hit. Okay, so ideally, uh, do I plan to review the show? Uh, not necessarily a review, but I plan on making a useless facts uh, video about the show. Uh, no, I am not a character in the TV show. Somebody said that I look like that uh, doctor that sells the fucking syrup. They're like, you know, the chicken fucker. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> what a cool thing to look like. So, um,. Ideally, you wouldn't get hit by the rat immediately, but if you're using this turn-based combat, say we swipe at the rat, okay, and we miss. We still have enough AP to swing again. Okay, and we hit him. Oh, well, this time, actually, they they don't attack after that first turn that they take. But let's say we hit him again, and he's going to attack this time. Run away. Three AP away. 
Now he's dead. So if you run, if you use like maybe three AP to run away from these rats each turn, um, you're never gonna get bit by them. Even though I did get bit right, right off the bat. Say that's the only time you get bit by him. Now let's say you really don't want to get bit by him. <sighs> if you spam A, um, this will consistently get you in and out of combat. So if I move over here, it ends my turn, but I'm spamming A, so I'm, I'm opening combat over and over again. So these rats don't have a chance to engage combat with me, become hostile, or do anything like that. So I can just, this is a speedrunning tactic that uh, people who speed run the game like world record style like tomato anus and stuff that's what they're doing to get through shit like that and it's likely something that I'll use uh, when we get to Mariposa because we used it the last time and it was fucking amazing and I had never done that before so there you go yeah uh, wait what's Soggy thanking everybody for what did I think of the show I fucking love the show I fucking love the show um, I'm not trying to devalue anybody's opinion but the people that are out there like Screaming that New Vegas has been retconned and all this other kind of stuff. Watch the show, see for yourself. It is not. There's a couple of retcons in the show. Not. Uh... Oh, by the way, happy birthday to Rackade. Make sure we get that out there. Um, none of which involve New Vegas. Now, people point to this. Um, now, spoiler alert a little bit here. People point to this date that's written on a chalkboard where it says the fall of the NCR and then it says 2277. Okay? And that's obviously. A, you know, a decade or so before, or, you know, around that, uh, before the end of New Vegas. So it's like, how did the, in, uh, or the fall of Shady Sands, my, my mistake. How did Shady Sands fall? We didn't hear about it. Um, a lot of people relate this to the incident that happens in the show where Shady Sands gets nuked by vault Tech. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think the nuke happened much later because there's an arrow pointing to the bomb after that date signifying that it was later than 2277. That's where everybody's getting hung up on. We see New Vegas in the show. We see Mr. House in the show. So it's like, take it with a grain of salt when you see these people out there saying that they retconned a bunch of shit. The, the two biggest things that I can think of that are being, quote, retconned, one isn't even a retcon, and the other one it is. Um, it seems that, fer uh, that ghouls need to take anti-feral juice in order, that's what we call it. It's like a serum or whatever that they take to not turn feral. That was not something that was in the series before. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, they don't fully explain it, but it seems that way. And then the other thing is they heavily imply that uh, vault Tech started the Great War, which has always been a theory and something that I always subscribe to, but it was never confirmed. In fact, Tim Kaine said his original idea was that China attacked the US. So um, those are two things that I think actually changed some of the story. Other than that, like it's a really well put together show that I think does really fucking good. Is the NCR like completely destroyed? The NCR that we saw on the show got fucked up, yes. Um, does that mean that they're completely destroyed? Who knows? We haven't even been into the Mojave proper yet. We don't know what foothold they have in the Mojave post New Vegas. So who knows? New Vegas looks a little worse for wear. And some of the credits people have pointed out that Vegas looks fucking destroyed, but that could just be a credit scene. It doesn't maybe necessarily reflect the way it looks. We do see it in the show and it looks functioning. Um, the fucking Lucky 38 still standing. It is on Prime, yes. So, um, you know, but the NCR took a huge fucking hit. We're in Shady Sands right now. This is nuked in the show. <clears throat> and that doesn't mean that the NCR ending is non-canon. Because the NCR could have won the second battle of Hoover Dam, and then New, New Vegas could have just got fucking wrecked by a different war. Like, we don't know. You know what I mean? So. My, my biggest thing that I've been telling people is watch it, give it a chance. If you're a fan of Fallout, check it out. Make up your mind for yourself. That's all I'm asking people to do. Like, don't just take my word for it. And don't take these people's words for it. They're like, they're, oh, they're retconning everything. Go in, watch it for yourself. See what they're referring to. Make up your own decision on it. That, that's what I ask. Because I think it's a, I think it's a good show. Then we're going to get the XP from uh, Katrina here. Recruit Ian. Quick save. I'm Max Chad. All right, and now we got Ian. The best companion of all Fallout. 
Dude, that, okay, Tostador, that meeting with like Robco, Vault Tech, West Tech, Big Mountain, that shit's amazing. And that's another thing, all these people are like yelling about New Vegas not being like represented properly or whatever. We see Frederick Sinclair of like representing Big Mountain and Robert House representing Robco at a fucking meeting with Vault Tech. It's amazing. What do you fucking mean? Like these guys aren't out to destroy the fucking Fallout lore. You can tell that somebody who fucking likes the games and like cares about the lore made like was involved with this shit. Who's the rep from Big That's Frederick Sinclair. And uh, Robert Robert House even makes a joke about it. Like, he's like, Freddy's the only one that could lose money opening a casino. Referring to the fucking Sierra Madre, I'm pretty sure. Um, fuck, man. It's so good. It's so good. Uh. Uh. Anyway. That's just my take. <laughs> I fucking really like it. Oh, shut up. No, I must have saved. Okay, so I'm trying to steal from... Oh, come on. Let me have it. Um, let's try this. Come on. You fucking scumbag. Whatever. I'm not going to try it anymore. 8 out of 10 from Uncle Chaw over there. Season 2 has you worried? Dude, Season 2 has me fucking stoked, man. I don't know, guys. I, 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 I don't think you should be worried, guys. I'm serious. Like, I don't think you should be worried. Like, I'm not even... Like, okay, like... A lot of people have said my reaction to the show makes them think that I'm like bought by Bethesda. I can assure you that nobody's paid me any money to like the show. Uh, Amazon, Kilter Films, fucking Bethesda, Xbox, Microsoft, nobody's fucking paid me any money. Um, they didn't invite me to their premieres and all that other stuff that my friends, uh, who are also content creators, that you would think I would be invited to, they didn't, they, like, I got left out of that shit, and I still think the show was really good. So, like, I would be, you would think I'd be more biased to, like, shit all over the show. I was actually pretty prepared to. I was like, I'm gonna fucking tear this thing apart. Then I watched it, and I was like, alright, it's pretty good. <laughs> like, I, like, I promise you, like, I don't Hi. think we should be worried about I heard about there it. was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy, what's yours? Why the Overseer Cyclops? Okay, see, the, and that was something that before uh, the show came out, I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And then after the show came out, I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, there's experiments going on in that vault, and they're all mutated from them. Um, so it's not like some new effect of radiation that we hadn't heard about or anything like that, like, or FEV or something dumb. Like it's, uh, it's their own, it's like the vault has their own thing going on. Well, how do you like our little town? Boy, yeah, yeah, I hope they go, I do hope they go to Good Springs. Like you would think they would, like Good Springs been welcoming all of the community there. Um, uh, it's such an iconic location to that game. We're walking into New Vegas at the end of season one, uh, at least Hank is, so it would be cool if he went through Good Springs, you know what I mean? Because Good Springs is such a lovely town, and I know that I know that Steve would fucking eat that up. Steve, the guy who runs the Pioneer Saloon, uh, like, because we've been doing the New Vegas days there, so I think to be officially recognized, he would really, oh, you like the, so, so what this is, is uh, this is the vault suit colored, uh, track jacket that I wore during my conversation with Tim Kane that I posted on the channel. And then I'm also wearing a Fallout 2 t-shirt. <laughs> and I have some really rocking 90s pants on that I guess I could show you guys just this once. Just this one time. But uh, this is how we're rocking today. Hopefully the pants were shown. Oh, kind of. You can kind of see them. Anyway, they're like nutty spins. <laughs> is this vanilla Fallout 1? It sure is, brother. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. There's a bunch of cities Rip Shady south, Sands, Rip Bozo. Since you're such a great traveler. Dude, I'm I know. Sure you know for, for real, I, uh, I like the show a lot, too. Put on the mask. Oh, what? The ranger helmet? It doesn't fit so well. No problem. Like, Anything they make else? them to order. I just don't think I fucking, like, measured my head right or something, because it's, it's a little snug in there. We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. 
And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Dude, Tanner, that, that's what I said on Twitter. My review of it was the best thing Fallout since New Vegas. Admittedly, IGN said the same thing. I worded it differently, but still, like, Just I agree. Stuff. No problem. But, eh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all, but it's so boring. You know, I want to see hey, the world. Hey, Astro Pidgey, good to see you. Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough Fallout to Fallout does get it. Dude, it no almost looks like it go. in those credits. Holy shit. Most of all, I hope Vegas is all right. God. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yeah, the Fallout 2 uh, uh, does update a lot of the Fallout ones. And you can use the Fallout Fixed mod, well, but I wanted to do it vanilla because I figured there'd be a lot of people in here that hadn't played so these, and I, I like to show them off people. for what they are. <laughs> See ya. I'm nostalgic about my boys, the, the old Fallout games. Let's talk to Aerodish. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Oh, and I love that Vault 33's water chip went out, too. That was such a good callback. And fucking, like, at first I, like, made a, like, in Forrest Gump, there's the scene in Forrest Gump where Elvis Presley shows up at their house when they're doing, like, bed and breakfast for people. And fucking Elvis Presley shows up and he's, like, singing his songs and Forrest is dancing. And, like, uh, he's dancing around the room and Elvis is like, do that thing with your hips again. Implying that Forrest Gump gave Elvis the idea to gyrate his hips on stage. And Fallout does a couple of those things, what I call the Elvis Presley uh, Elvis Gump moments where um, uh, Walton Goggins, uh, Cooper, is like doing an ad, uh, an advertisement for Vault Tech. And he's like, well, what if I did a little thumbs up here? Implying that like they based Vault Boy off of him. And like it's little things like that that I don't see people bitching about, but I, f I thought would be a bigger deal to other people. Like I, when I saw it, I was like, well, that's fine. I mean, there's no like real canonical like where did Vault Boy come from situation. So it's like. He was just there, like he was just fault text advertising thing. So it was like okay, you know. There's little things like that that they do, that you're like, all right, you know, like okay. Um, Wonderer, Erdish here being played by to the great Tony Shalom. You may end uh, Tandy sands, was um, be warned. Your every move will be watched. Chris Summer, another. Greetings. What uh, shady sands is another much terrific like voice family. actress. One that keeps to itself. The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the we smell is... We got something is, similar to Vats, the Mujin. We are small, certainly. What do you wish to know? Uh, when Cooper was fighting Max in Philly, uh, and all those, like, raiders and other townsfolk, like, stood up, there was a lot of, like, slowdown, which I thought implied maybe Vats... But uh, it could have been because he took Jet, too. Oh my, but yes. ghouls are Great kind of immune to Jet, so you never know. Scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where the more religious brothers see that... No matter how many we kill, there's The Brotherhood being more. that way isn't really a change. It's reverting back to the way it used to be. That's how they are depicted in this and two. A hundred percent. Like, I mean, like... They did some good shit. That's and all I'm saying. The they, they were cooking over there. I'm very people. excited for season two. Rosso I'm going to watch that shit again here soon. For their poison, <laughs> I fucking love that show, sure man. How it goes. Well, I need to watch it again anyway. Lucky me, because my job is to talk about Fallout. So, uh, yeah, Ultra Jet Renegade. That's probably what he took. So, luckily, I have a job where I just talk about fucking Fallout the whole time. And um, so I'll, I'll just watch the show again and make my useless fact videos. You guys get, you get to watch a useless fact video. I get to watch the Fallout show again. Fucking win-win. I don't know what real-life location Philly is supposed to be. I did. I actually didn't think about that. That's something maybe I'll mention in my video when I do research. Mm, yes, 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 please. <laughs> okay, so we're going to help Shady Sands with the Rad Scorpion uh, problem, but if you were uh, like this guy that was in my fucking comments uh, last night when we were talking about the fucking show, uh, why even play this game? It's for nothing. Why Why help with the Rad Scorpions? Because Shady Sands just gets nuked, so it doesn't matter. And I'm like, dude, you can still play the games and have fun. Just, one of my biggest things is like, listen, they consulted with Bethesda on what they were doing. Therefore, Bethesda had the idea that the NCR would get fucking wrecked by something. And it turns out vault had something to do with it based on a jealous lover-overseer situation. Um, if that's the way the story plays out, that's okay. Like, it's okay if the NCR gets fucking wiped out. They, they can't stay on top forever. 
They were spread incredibly thin in the Mojave during New Vegas. And then if you lose your capital, maybe they do get, maybe there's only renegade squads. Who fucking knows? Who knows how the Legion's doing? Um, Mr. House, who knows how he's doing? Learning about what happens or learning about the story afterwards is how stories progress. If you don't let them progress or you don't like the outcome, so you shit your pants on the internet and act like everything's fucking terrible, you're, you're just never going to like anything, you know? So we can talk to homie here. If we ask him what he's doing, he's uh, growing crops and we uh, can teach him because we're from the vault about uh, crop rotation. Uh, this is a intelligence check, I'm pretty sure, though. But we have enough intelligence with this build. And we get 500 experience for uh, improving the agriculture in Shady Sands. But it doesn't matter, right? Because they get nuked. Uh, Mr. House was not in the meeting for vault Tech, uh Oh, wait. Are you talking about vault Tech causing the Great War? Because Mr. House was in the meeting for that, yes. But when it came to vault Tech nuking Shady Sands, this happened post-war. This was like... Um, if you look at the... I think it happened, people think it happened at uh, 2277 because of the way it's written on the board. I think it happened after that because of uh, the arrow that's under that. Um, but Shady Sands was destroyed by um, the overseer of Vault 33 because his wife chose to live in Shady Sands instead of going back to the vault. Um, Afterwards, it looks like the Brotherhood swept the entire fucking area because that's where Max came from. Max seemingly comes from hiding in a fridge when the nuke went off, which is another callback to hilarious shit. Um, he uh, he hides in the fridge uh, during when the bombs drop on Shady Sands, when a bomb drops on Shady Sands. The Brotherhood find him, recruit him, and then... Um, one second, my citizen app is... Uh, they find him in a fridge as a young boy and the Brotherhood are like, well, we'll, you know, take him and train him. And they turn him into a recruit. Um, also, just because that happens, does it, like, I, like I've been trying to say, is the NCR is an idea. It's not just this group of people is the NCR and that's it. It's an idea in a government. It doesn't just go away. In the Fallout series, the Enclave have been destroyed multiple times on both sides of the country, and they keep showing up. Why do they keep showing up? It's because it's an idea. It's the Enclave at this point in Fallout's timeline, it's an idea, an ideology that people follow, and then, and like, ups, uh, you know, like totally uh, coat their whole life with. Like, they, they, they live this life. They, this is an idea that they follow. The NCR is no different. Neither is Caesar's Legion. If you cut the heads off of these uh, entities, the leaders, if you if, they, if they're taken out of the equation, more sprout up. More leaders come out of the woodwork. So, I don't see the NCR being done just because uh, their capital got destroyed and a ragtag group of them just outside of the boneyard got murked by the Brotherhood. They've been getting murked by the Brotherhood for fucking 100 years. Like, the, the, it's, they're pretty used to it by now. Like, it, it's not, like, <laughs> people are acting like, oh my god, they've destroyed Fallout. It's like, that's literally has happened so many times. Look at the, right before fucking New Vegas happens, they lose uh, Helio, like, uh, they, they, they win Helios 1 because the Brotherhood and them are fighting over fucking Helios 1. Like, they fight all the fucking time. That's why the Brotherhood hides all the time in that area. Because they made the enemy with the Enclave. Enclave was destroyed. They came out a little bit. And here comes this new wave of fucking government with the NCR. I think they fucking know everything. Here they come. Like, and it's just another problem for the Brotherhood. And I don't necessarily agree with the Brotherhood. But I'm just saying. Like, come on now. I've been <laughs> I've been drowning myself in this, in this lore since 1998. And so it's just wild to me that people are either choosing to not pay attention to what the show's trying to say. Or just like making up their own mind <laughs> on what they think the show is saying? I don't know. Do they say it in the series? Uh, do they say what in the series, uh, Bato? Yeah, I was gonna say, Lonesome, yeah, Lonesome Road, you can nuke the shit out of NCR and the Legion. You know what I mean? Like, this is not new. <laughs> this is not... And my biggest argument is 
you wanted a New Vegas 2. Like, all these people are like, I want New Vegas 2. I want New Vegas 2. Would you have had the same reaction if the NCR was completely fucking wiped out in, <laughs> in uh, New Vegas 2? Like, it's just the way the story went. Like, it doesn't mean that they lost it, the Battle of Hoover Dam, the, the second battle. It, do it doesn't at all. Like, it seems like a whole nother fucking thing happened after the Battle of Hoover Dam. So... What's this? Tangor with a, with a five dollar super chat, big five dollars. Uh, was referenced in a new post on Instagram from Fallout. Do you think that would make this that station partially canon? It's hosted from LA as well. I don't know what uh, NCRR four forty is. I don't know what that is. But, um. If they're referencing stuff in Instagram posts, then yeah, they're they're definitely trying to entice you with information. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I, I hope I can answer your question a little bit better than that. But um, what's my opinion? I like every okay. I like all the actors in the show. I think they're doing a really good job when it comes to their characters. Um, really big fan of Lucy. Really big fan of Cooper. Um, Max uh, has pissed me off multiple times. He consistently makes poor decisions and gets no consequences for them, and I am tired of seeing him walk away scot-free from obvious nonsense. But, um, I think the actors are doing their jobs very well. So that is not a, that, that's not a retort on Max's actor. Uh, what is it? Alex Moulton, right? Um, it's not a... Like, he's doing a fucking fantastic job. His character is pissing me off. His character... I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> Fuck, everything you do is a fucking mistake, and you just fail upwards the whole time. <laughs> but, uh, the actor is very good, because he's making me feel that way about the character. So I know that it's not the actor's fault, it's this character that is just like, you fucking... Ah, oh, you lie about everything. You fucking win constantly for no reason. I, and I think Michael Rappaport as uh, Knight Titus was fucking hilarious. Like, uh, I think he did a really good job. Yeah, that's enough Scorp Tales for today. Uh, let's let's go ahead and get our small guns up to above a hundred here. Now, you want to go like a uh, hundred percent is kind of just the beginning of your skills here. They can be maxed out at about 300, so that's what, like, more perks get unlocked, things of that nature, as you go higher and higher above 100%. Now we won't miss as much, and we have a good, you know, like, a good chance, but, like, that's not maxed out, which is a little confusing. And I think a lot of, uh, yeah, Titus, I wish he would have lasted a little bit longer, too. Um, Thaddeus is my fucking king, I'll, I'll tell you that much. He got that mysterious serum, and now he, like, can't fucking die. And also, uh, the actor that plays him, his delivery is the best in the show, in my opinion. Is fucking, mm. I just love the show, man. Whenever an enemy starts a fight, and you're sure that you have more perception, feel free to start a second round first. No need to, oh. Wait, wait, wait. This is actually good advice. Feel free to start second round first oh like just close combat is that what you're referring to uh, I, I don't know if I'll say your name right Javorg Eric Estrada cameo I don't I guess I didn't notice that I, I didn't even notice Eric Estrada holy shit uh, I'll have to check that out <laughs> I'll notice it when I watch it through again now I'll be watching for it so Javorg is saying okay shoot just start a second round? Well, that was a bad example because it got knocked unconscious first, but I see, I think that's what you were saying. The second round you will start first, oh, okay. Yeah, see, there was stuff like that, Philippe. There was, like, that the the, the shitter and, and things like that that, like, you don't normally... Because, like, um, I remember one time I got heat uh, because people, um... Oh, don't close combat. Oh, you're saying just uh, skip the turn and they don't move. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Yes, yes. Um, I was showing people that at the beginning through uh, the rats. I was showing them that they don't attack on that second turn. Um, but thank you for the advice, my friend. Um, Tangor with another fat $2. 
Oh, it's a New California mod 20 years before. Well, hey, maybe they'll start integrating some uh, mod stuff. That'd be kind of interesting, huh? Canonizing some of uh, the events in uh, some of the cooler mods. Definitely would be interesting. Yeah, dude, that Brotherhood guy, uh, the Elder, he's going to catch his shit for sure. I do want to get out of the way so Ian doesn't fucking blast me. <laughs> Played that game before. Fat4995 dollars super chat from HP Man. An early prediction for season two. Oh, okay, we well, can do something like that. I predict we're gonna go into New Vegas be, uh, with Hank. I don't need that tail anymore. Um, go into New Vegas with Hank, and I think he's gonna go. Uh, I think he's there to see Mr. House. Um, I think he's gonna go talk to Mr. House. Maybe we see that conversation. Maybe we don't. Um, I think that the area around Vegas is gonna be a little more tore up than it was last time. I, th I think. Uh, a different conflict happened after the second battle of Hoover Dam that we're going to learn about in that area. Um, I do think we're going to see something about the Legion. Anything that's mentioned in New Vegas, I think through Hank's storyline, we're going to see. If they're chasing Hank, I imagine the rest of the characters will be going through that same uh, journey through those areas. Um, I would like to see a lot from that area if we're if we're gonna be all the way out there you know what i mean like if we're gonna be out in the mojave show us the mojave so uh, my prediction is that a lot of it's gonna take place in that area so maybe we'll see good springs jacobstown um freeside yeah boulder city hoover dam like all these places i i hope we do get a get a chance so that's kind of like my um i don't i, I don't think it means any ending is canon right now um all we've seen is the skyline of New Vegas. That's all we've seen. So we don't know what's happened with New Vegas. I believe Bethesda told them not to canonize any of the endings for any of the games. So I would imagine that they won't really... I, If they want to imply one thing happened and, and you know, this or whatever, um, I think that's a good way to go. But outright confirming it, um, I don't think it's the best way to go, but we're, we're going to see. I'm, I'm very interested to see what has happened to this area uh, in the timeline. You didn't see any lights? Well, that's an interesting, interesting observation for sure. Man, we'll see though. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really explain where the nuke came from that Hank launched, but that could be the case. That could be the case. Oh my god. There we go. This is the last Scorp. Boom. 500 more XP. Is Raul still alive? Uh, we haven't seen anything about him, but... It, uh, maybe? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I want to see, like, characters from the games. It'd be cool. Like, cause we, we see pre-war Mr. House, I, like, and I think they were playing it safe that way, because, like, <laughs> it's pre-war. Uh, but I hope they get a little more ballsy with uh, season two and show show us at least one or two people that are maybe still alive from New Vegas since we're in that area. Um, yeah, you know, let's fucking go. Okay. Okay. So we did that. We'll turn it into Eridish. Ah, things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, we should be able to fight. Hey, and Rissa, good to see you. You are yeah. Let's put no bark in that motherfucker. Yes. Know that the people of Shady Sands are yes. most grateful. 
Let's see some references to Fallout 2. Like uh, like the rumored reference, I'm pretty sure Josh Sawyer said it wasn't supposed to be, or Chris Avalon said it wasn't supposed to be. But like we see that crashed highwayman in New Vegas. It'd be cool to like actually see like the Chosen One's highwaymen or go down to San Fran. Go down to San Francisco. Like let's fucking go. Like I'm ready. I am ready to embrace Goodbye. what they have to throw at us, man. Yeah, let's see the she, dude. The she down in San Francisco. Like, there's so much going on there that we have no fucking idea about. Kellogg came from San Francisco, so you can tie that into it as well. Let's fucking go. William, good to see you. As you can tell, I'm just a fan of the show. I fucking really like it. So, we're giving... Um, homeboy here. Isn't it, is it Jarvis? No, Jarvis is who we heal. Uh, we give Raslo here the scorpion tails, and he's able to make an antidote, and we can give it to Jarvis. And that'll make him feel a little bit better. And level us up. Awareness it is. Awareness is a good perk. I'm going to raise speech up. And you can get a little bit of info from him. I'm going to try one more time. Ha ha! And these uh, these are skill books, so these add to your skills for whatever topic they are. It's pretty self-explanatory. Dude, if Benny's still alive, oh my god! Dude, it's just seriously. I'm, I'm like one thing that I was. I thought people would also tear apart is during the credits. They're panning out. Um, it's like, check out the cryo suites in the Topps Casino, and I was like, uh, there was? <laughs> but again, we I guess we didn't really go up to those, you know, so we didn't really see them. So we have the rope, we're gonna go to Vault 15. Um, Jesse, you missed these live streams, so we'll do it right here, brother, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Oh, we're getting an actual random encounter, let's go. Oh, shit. Missed. There we go. The groin. Wrecked. Oh, we ain't done yet. Yes. Got him. We did it, boys. Real gunslinger. Yeah, I love the show too. Yeah, I have a pit boy in a vault suit myself. Uh, it is not the vault suit is not flattering on me. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I need to lose this gut. Drinking this Mountain Dew isn't helping, but I've started making a little bit better decisions. And that's all you can do. Okay, so we have the rope for a reason. And it's because we're going to need it for this elevator shaft up here. I'm not playing no fucking games with these rats. Ooh, the groin. Uh-oh. Get in here, Ian. Wow. Yeah, cardio. That's... Mm -hmm. Start by walking. You can't just go into a sprint, you know what I mean? But start walking every day, then you start jogging every day. Then you, when you're jogging every day, you start running every once in a while. And then when you're running every once in a while, you start sprinting. And now you're when you're jogging, you're doing full sprints, and you're fucking in shape again, and yada, yada, yada. So. I gotta start slow so I don't fucking pull anything because I'm an old ass man now, but uh. We got it. If Matt. Dude, I don't. Yeah, Bob. Fallout, uh, Fallout 1. Yeah, I, I do wish uh, Matthew Perry was, uh. alive to see this, uh. see the show. And it, he probably would have been involved in it. You're right. That's a bummer, actually. He would have really liked it. Oh my god, Ian, come on. 
Wow. Oh my god. I want to be careful that Ian doesn't trap us into this area because uh, <laughs> this isn't Fallout 2 so we can't tell him to fuck off. He's running over here to do it right now. He likes to run up and fucking... Yep. Fuck. Ian. Ian, Ian. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Yeah, you can't do the push thing here. Oh man, really at the beginning? Come on, Ian. Sometimes they do that like walking animation. Why is Shitty Sands near LA now? It always has been. It's right outside the bone uh the boneyard. And also my act my theory on that, um was that it just expanded so much that it's that much closer to the actual city of LA now. But uh, the boneyard's just LA. And it was pretty close there, too. Well, I guess probably not as close as that look. But honestly, when you're down in that area, everything's a fucking... Like, the city never goes away. Like, it's all fucking cityscape for miles, you know? Ooh, and Ian hits me for nine hit points. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, no take all button either. Yes, yes, yes. I ended up accidentally killing the cave right behind this one. Okay. And take any chances. All right. Any chance? Yeah, Fallout Tactics is uh is on the list. I'm I'm going through all of the Fallout series in celebration of the show. Not all in one stream, obviously, but uh, back to back streams of every game. So, yeah, Tactics is on the list. We should play Tactics with the fucking cheat, <laughs> the, the character editor. It's more fun for me that way. Yeah, Shelter and Brotherhood, absolutely. Shelter will probably be a part of the Fallout 4 stream because we'll only play it for a minute, but it's on the list. It's a Fallout game. Yeah, I feel like the next gen update for Fallout 4 is going to break mods, especially shitty considering that uh, London comes out like right before the next gen update. Um... Hopefully, you know, people will care enough to figure out fixes. We'll see. That's what usually happens. Alright. And we're going to grab the hidden gun here. hard to see but we got it it's good shit
Ian? I swear to God, dude. Got him. This is where we get our first armor and a new rope that we'll need. Put our leather jacket on. And also during this run, I um I always have really weird luck with like the Brotherhood not giving me power armor. Like, cause you can repair it, but they also will like let you pick it as a reward for completing a quest, but I've been having just shit luck with that. Lucy was good, Karma Max was neutral, and the ghoul was evil. I did not notice that, but thank you for pointing that out. I'm going to add that to my list of facts when I make my video. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good point. I, once you, once, like, seeing you say it, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. No, uh, New California's not on the list as well. I streamed that twice. <coughs> I likely won't again. Not that it's, like, bad or anything like that. It's just... Okay. There's ammo up here. Let's go grab it. Oh, come on. Do that. Nice. Oh my god. I don't even know what kind of ammo that was. Was it? Oh, okay, it was for our fucking rifle, which is nice. We'll clear out this room too. Fuck it. You didn't realize I had a beard? Yeah, we're right. We're out here, Mickey. We're out here. Yeah, watching this makes you want to replay Fallout 1. I'm doing my job then. <laughs> the more people play this game, the, the more empowered I become. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm really lucky to have not been shot by Ian right there. I think that's... Oh, there's one more over here. Hey, Mickey, thank you very much. I hope you guys are all doing well. Oh, my God. Jesse. You like the original Fallout more than two? Right on. They're both fucking great games. One thing I like about Fallout 2 a lot is the quality of life updates where the take all button, the fucking tell your companion to move out of the way button. These are all very good things. Like right now, where Ian's blocking our fucking exit. Okay. Yeah, two is wacky as fuck. So if you like uh, Wild Wasteland type shit, like, two is where it's at. 100%. Oh my god. Bastard. Okay, I'm trying to just... There we go. Yeah, the the dev cafe, the fourth wall breaking Maltese Falcon and uh Fallout 2. It's top tier. Yeah, casually making easy P noises, that's right. You you got it. Oh fuck you.
There we go. Thanks, Ian. I thought there was ammo right there. And we could be cheesing this, but I want the XP. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. We're in Vault 15 right now, if you guys are just joining us. This is where uh, everybody from Shady Sands started here, and then uh, went on to build the small settlement of Shady Sands, uh, which is destroyed by the time we see uh, it in the Fallout show. You got it, Brody, don't you? I'll try to remember, my dude. There we go. Yeah, line up, boys. something got delivered to my door so uh, the dogs had a fucking meltdown all right we can also pick this up and we got 500 experience points for finding out that this is buried bing bong okay so you guys did hear it all right. hey nuke man good to see you <laughs> it sounded like South Park. Nice. South Park is a fucking terrific show, so. This is. It's pretty good and good. There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, Ian's on it. Then I'll clear this room, Ian. Dude, I hope they do something with the water chip storyline. I mean, they, I, I imagine they didn't bring that shit up for no reason. And I really like the callback, you know? We're slapping our way through uh, the Vault 15 rats here. Worth the XP, in my opinion. Cave rat critically missed and took four hit points, knocked down, and hurt herself. Well, time to put you out of your misery. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed! <laughs> um, so you're a diehard Fallout fan. Got a few tattoos. Yeah, I got one, too. Uh, I have a vault boy. Um, actually I can, uh, well, anyway, Vault Boy's in the bushes up in this area. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't even think I showed it right, looking at the thing. Oh yeah, no, okay. You see. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, would anyone recommend Fallout 76? So, Fallout 76 isn't necessarily super my cup of tea, currently the way it is right now. My favorite Easter egg, Mickey, is the actual Easter egg in Fallout 2. Um, that you can find uh, under new Reno arms in the basement. There's nearby dickheads. Um, so with Fallout 76, there's fun to be had there. Um, it is... Uh, yeah, it's a Walton Goggins tattoo now. Hey, good point. Um, with 76, I like to have this single-player, story-driven like sandbox style fallout experience so for me you, like there's there's elements of that in 76 but um ultimately i think the live service model does it 
like kind of hinders it. But there's fun to be had there if you're playing, especially if you already have people like it looks like you, uh, people that you wanted to play with anyway. Um, you, you you can have fun with it for sure. Um, it's just not it's not at the top of the things that I go to when when I'm like you know kicking it playing Fallout. If that makes any sense. Uh, Night Nightbot's reckless. Watch out, Nuke Man. Ah, we'll take this ammo too. Use it for barter. And we also have this uh, rifle. I wasn't using it because I didn't really want to waste the ammo on uh, the rat. So now we're going to do that. Dude, the mo Okay, Fallout New Vegas multiplayer is really fucking fun though. Like, uh, I think there's still rats over here, isn't there? No? I don't recall killing any of the rats over here. Is this, isn't this a rat? No? Okay. Anyway, um, I love that New Vegas multiplayer mod. They did a fucking fantastic job. Yeah, just exploring Appalachia is fine. Um, doing the quest that, like, if you haven't played through it at all and you're, like, new to the quest, they're fine, too. There's, there's, there's quests that are good. They do update the game frequently, so there's new things to check out. Uh, a lot of the times. Uh, it's just a, a lot of the gameplay, like, just hasn't been for me. Well, I don't know. Every once in a while. Like I said, it's it's in my streaming uh, list now, and we'll be doing it during these things. There's one server for New Vegas multiplayer. Well, Fallout 4, 4 multiplayer is just 76. Even Todd Howard said that, uh, Tanner. He was like, yeah, it's the multiplayer for Fallout 4. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I guess, like, if, unless you're referring to, like, the setting of the Commonwealth and, like, all the things you do there, I see what you mean. Oh, these mantises can be a fucking hassle. Here, let's, uh... Because they're more than certainly gonna fucking try to swarm us. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Shit. Yeah, these little bastards. Come on now. One down. <coughs> Good. Ooh. Fuck him up, Ian. That one's running. Yes. Oh no. Got him. Wow, this one's tough. Four twenty XP. Oh, dude had a ton of shit on him. Oh yeah, Mark Morgan is the man. The the first the classic Fallout games, their soundtracks are just mm, I use them all the time in my videos. Okay, so So Tandy's been kidnapped by the cons who also came from Vault 15. Um but we're just going to walk in there and fucking handle it. And while we're here, make sure that we get directions to the hub and jump to it. So 
So we can convince him that we represent a threat he can't even understand. And he believes us. So now Tandy is set free. We're good to go. Um, that might be happening because we're armed. One second. Let's try saving now. I notice they're not spouting off like, oh, a tough one. All right. So bring Tandy back to Shady Sands. Nuke man with the fucking excellent emojis. If you become a member, uh, those are the mo emojis that you get to check out in chat. And we also have uh, some cool Discord. Uh, stuff that you can get. Let me level up here. Lockpick, it's your turn to shine. Thank you. We'll talk to Tandy here. Hi. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great. Action, adventure. Oh, anyway, Dusty, we've been talking about it the whole time. that I can do for you? You just Dude, asked. I would love it if they gave Fallout and Fallout 2 the same remaster treatment that they did with Diablo. That would be fucking amazing. <clears throat> I did get the directions before saving, but it's not necessary. I just wanted to make sure that I did it and did, like didn't forget before I went back to the world map. That way I could just walk down to Junktown. And then um, Tandy, I think, is supposed to be like 15 or 16 years old during the events of Fallout here but uh the vault dweller can suggest some extracurricular activities here and she gets pretty offended but if you're a female vault dweller she doesn't get as of, as offended so i remember back in the day there was a lot of speculation about this i'm not that kind of girl mister go find a brahma or something okay Oh, because of Cree Summer? You... Yeah, I was here as Susie from the Rugrats for the same reason, uh, Anthony. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Until we meet again, my friend. May the water you find in the desert not shine at you in the dark. Thank you, Iridesh. It's a very kind thing to wish upon somebody. The reason why the Chosen One outdoes his father, yes. Well, it's actually, uh, this is the Chosen One's grandfather, if we were to go off of that. Yeah, dude, Kree Summer's the shit. She is fucking top tier. Tress McNeil's in this, too. Another just fucking fantastic. There's so many good voice actors in this fucking game. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna head down to Junktown. Okay, we've made it. Talk to handsome Lars in his fabulous jars. Alright, so we're going to oust Dr. Doc Morbid here. Fuck his day up, take out Cougar and Flash while we're at it, get a fancy set of leather armor, and then also recruit dog meat. It's gonna be a big day. For some reason, Doc Morbid isn't here. Uh, that's super interesting. He's down here. That's gonna make it so much easier. I should give Ian the SMG, but it is a dangerous game. Oh, Morbid's actually putting up a fight, too. Oh, my God. Okay, took care of that. Right in the dick. Boom! 
Oh, he's just knocked out, too. Oh, he just used a stim pack that we could have looted from him. You fucking scumbag. Oh my god, he has taken it. Oops. Oh, there he goes. He's fucked now. Yes! Nice shot, Ian. Hey, man, nice shot. Okay, yeah, let's... Yeah, we'll give Ian this one. Fuck it. Yeah, F's in the chat. <laughs> I'm also gonna give Ian just, like, a knife so that he has it. Um, he can have all of my 10mm ammo. And he can have all of that 10mm ammo. And all of that 10mm ammo as well. How's that gun? Offer, there you go. So now, we gotta watch the fuck out for Ian, because he's gonna be bursting. And I tell you right now, he will fuck us up. That burst on Ian is real deal holy field. Um, there's traps here. Okay, we disarmed the trap. I do not know if I have enough lockpick to do this. I'm only going to try one more time. Oh, I did it. Nice. Second try. Bunch of caps in here. And more ammo for Ian. I don't really care about that. Well, you know what? We can barter with it, so let's take that. Oh, well, don't put this away yet, boys, because Flash and Cougar, Morbid's guards, are probably going to be fucking hostile when we come back up. Look at that. Ooh-wee. Alright, bud. To the dick. How do you like that? Ian's going to break in his new fucking SMG. Oh, I done goofed. Ah, oh, whatever. Burst him, Ian, oh my god. Shit. No, that's terrible. Ian, you were supposed to burst him. We can hit him in the dick from here. Dead. There we go! Fuck yeah, Ian! Look at that! God, I love those death animations. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not even gonna heal. Who cares? Okay. We got our leather armor. We can also loot this. Hey, happy trash game. Good to see you over there on Twitch. <coughs> How's the chat doing? F for fucked. That's right. Well, HPC's had a long day today. Well, it's not, your mom's getting you some fall stuff for your birthday. Fuck. Yes. Etsy is a great, great fucking place for Fallout merch. It's where I get all of my, like... Like, I have a bunch of uh, props that I don't even know where they are right now, but they're like stim packs and stuff like that. I always get them from uh, Etsy. People make dope things on there. Okay, so let's reload. Do that. Um, we're going to go up and get dog meat. You had a long day at work, Happy? Well, uh, I'm vibing playing some Fallout, so we're both vibing. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, I hear that a lot of the a lot of the props on the show, like uh, people, they just went to Etsy and bought them from them. I do. I will end up swapping armor. The reason I'm not doing it right now is because dog meat instantly becomes your companion if you're wearing the Mad Max leather jacket, because it's a reference to Mad Max. Well, not dog meat. It's like name, but like the dog. Um, now we can safely switch over to leather armor. 
There we go. Hot diggity daffodils. Let's uh, save. Like it suit next. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go talk to Killian here. MacGyver. Richard Dean Anderson, right? Well, McGarnacle, Billy's dead. They slit his throat from ear to ear. Try to eat my sandwich over here. Okay, so... A good thing to do, maybe, would just to be, like, use one stim pack. So we don't get complete... Oh, shit, my game just crashed. Good thing we just saved, huh? <laughs> shit. Uh, crashes, they're rare with these. Um, they do happen. And... Here, let me, uh, face cam it up. They do happen. Uh, just not as often as, say, a New Vegas or a Fallout 3. Uh, I'm just getting my window back up here. We did save right before that happened. So there will essentially be no harm, no foul. Um, we are back. What is that? What, Jackamo, what does that mean? Are, are you playing on it too? Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay. Let's uh, take the Stimpak now. Just taking Stimpaks crashes the game. <laughs> I have an amazing beard. This is the second comment somebody said about my beard. Thank you guys for saying that, man. I appreciate you guys. This is Killian's at General Store. Killian's a good man. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of this action. Okay, hey, everybody come in. Can I help you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Max Judd. Well, junk town's not much, but it's home. <coughs> Better smoke Mostly a joint to celebrate, boys. Mostly we people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our this share one. of problem. It's from Elevated. Get elevated. Get elevated with elevated. Let's um it's a juicy stick, whatever the fuck that means. Melted diamonds and keef. Sure. All bud hand finished. Mingo Kush strain. So that's what we smoking today, boys. As always, I must remind you. I am 30 or 40 years old. <laughs> uh, I live in Washington State, so this is legal for me. I bought it from a dispensary. Um, use responsibly. And uh, wait until you're... Uh, I recommend waiting until you're 25 really to start smoking weed because uh, that's when your brain quits developing. I started sooner than that. So do as I uh, say, not as I do. Anyway. Big toke, yeah. We're we out here. From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some yeah, crawling chaos. I the fucking hub, love the Fallout show too. Yet. You're amongst Knock friends here. My mother-in-law's <laughs> dead. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> it's making me cough. Good, <clears throat> good shit. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. They yeah, look happy around. I am I'm smoking for you right now. Don't you worry. Nuke man, there has been spoilers floating around in the chat for the show. We've been talking about it. So I will try to keep the spoilers down, but we have been. Did somebody say they're from Oak Harbor? Nice. Uh I grew up in Shoreline, uh, Washington, and then uh I live in Spokane now. I was born in Spokane, and then uh, from like 8 to fucking 20, I lived in Shoreline, and then uh, moved back to Spokane as an adult. Uh, really enjoyed out here. Especially rent-wise. Seattle area rent and uh, like home ownership is fucking ridiculous right now. And dog meat handled the situation. Bada bing, bada boom. Realist guys in the room. Combat Listen, over. Thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. 
Now it looks like we've got ourselves. But it a tastes like mangoes. Here. Usually they don't I taste like what they say. Behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? But it has like a fruit, like a mango taste to it. It's uh, it's nice. Uh, yeah, let's fuck him up. I'm in. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. When you moved out near Moses Lake, fuck yeah, man. Office. Either way. I have uh, friends that are from there. We got him. Fall shows 10 out of 10 for Dude, it's close to a 10 out of 10 for me, too. I'm not even exaggerating. I fucking love the show. It is the best um, video game adaptation I've ever personally watched. There's a few that I haven't seen. But um, for me, it's the fucking best one I've ever seen, man. All right. But I also, I'm a bit biased because I love Fallout, and the I think they the did a good job. Cap. I think Let they did a good job over here. And good luck. You lived in the ghetto parts. Of, I've been up there with Casino Road and shit. Fuck that nonsense. Uh, my uh, my cousin actually was living up there, and then uh, he moved in with us. Uh, and he's been living with us for a few years now. But oh, dude, fuck Everett. I'm not saying like fuck Everett. Like have pride if you like Everett and you live there. It, you're not a bad person for living there. But it is fucking rough. I don't know if it's as bad as it used to be. But when I was growing up, we like. There's parts you couldn't go to, like for realsies. Like, oh, like you can't go there. You will get fucked up. Uh, all right. Can't care anymore. So let's. Well, howdy. What can I do for you to. Well, let's. Let's uh, sell some shit to Killian here. He has a bunch of fucking cops. So uh, we'll start. We'll start the bidding at $9.99. You can have two of these. You can have my Mintats, I won't use them. You can have my Buff Out, I won't use them. I'll keep the Poison Antidote, you never know. You can have my Grenades, I will not use them. Alright, here we go. Okay, you still owe me some shit here. Okay, we're getting closer. Have this. Have that. Pretty close. The gun will put it way over, so. This? Okay. We're still pretty far over, but honestly, I don't care that much. That's fine. And it also uh, frees up some inventory space for us, which is nice. So we actually, we're sitting on 18 stim packs, 3,492 caps. Pretty fucking good. Uh, we still have a bunch of shit that we can end up bartering. Um, save. Yeah, dude, this is my first time seeing Walton Goggins in anything. So, I was very impressed. <laughs> Spokane is alright, Doom is being close to- Yeah, okay, like, I, okay. Being close to the ocean is, like, the thing I miss about the coast the most. Like, it's- because, like, when I was a kid, man, uh, like, there's this, uh, Richmond Beach is right out of shoreline. Uh, that's where all the rich people lived. Blah, blah, blah. Went to a house parties there because all the rich kids lived out there. I, I'm from the fucking hood. <laughs> but uh, uh, we would go down to the Richmond Beach and like just – like it's not even like, you know, a sunny California beach or anything like that. But it was still nice to like be able to go to the water. Or if you go down to uh, the actual ocean, ocean. Um, well, uh, the Richmond, Be Richmond Beach kind of connects to that. But you know what I mean. Like if you go down to like the actual beaches, yeah, I love it, man. Nothing beats, like, doing that in California, though. California has, like, some of the best beaches I've ever fucking seen. I'm not even a beach guy, but you're just, like, chilling there. I was down in Mexico, and I watched the sunset. I mean, the sunrise, like, every fucking day on the on the beach of Cabo San Lucas, and it was fucking ridiculously amazing. Anyway. We're gonna rent a night at this hotel room because uh, we can finish the quest where she will get uh, hassled by one of the Skulls gang. Yeah, Goggins is Coop, the the ghoul. Yeah, and the pre-war cowboy. This will also heal a bit of our HP. Went from twenty nine to forty one. So yeah, we'll go over here and we'll check out this uh, commotion over here. Get a little peaceful solution going on here. So, you just kind of talk him down. Boom. And she'll give us a little bit of info on uh, Gizmo and some of the other things that are going on in town. Homegirl will tell us that we have uh, another night free. I We don't need to use it. 
Oh, Chambers Bay. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, Washington's a beautiful state. I'm just saying I, I, I was very impressed with California speeches. I really like Northern California a lot, too. Like, just, like, all the forests and stuff up there. It's so fucking nice. It smells so good. We can also recruit Tycho. Um, let's see. Tycho's a desert ranger who's not in here right now. When he should be. Maybe it's too late. Did they explain ghoulification in Fallout 1 and 2? Not to that extent. I mean, it was just kind of like, oh, like, one of the vault doors got left open and it created a bunch of ghouls because it didn't seal all the way and the radiation, like, kind of seeped in. That was, like, one of the explanations for ghoulification. There's Tycho. And we can listen to a Tycho story come back to him. And here we are. Tycho the Desert Ranger, now, uh... Now good to go. Now we have a whole fucking squad. There's a bunch of unique items up in here, too. At least a couple of them. Gizmo has a gun you can't find anywhere else in the game. Uh, the 9mm Mouser. There's, like, a TV dinner. I don't know why my dogs are freaking out. There's, like, a TV dinner... And a box of noodles, I think. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I don't know what you're talking about. Such as? And let me guess. You're that someone? Well, how can I trust you? <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. Have a you good one, Nuke Man. How's that jet, dude? Ever this is a great joint. Gizmo great joint. And lives to talk about it. You got me. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? You know it, Gizmo. So right now we're agreeing to this job. Good. Because we're recording, we have a bug on us. His neck is proof. And we never had this conversation. And uh, anyone. Nobody we're recording what Gizmo's up. saying, and we're and we're bringing it back to Killian. Uh, yes, I have seen the Fallout show. I'm in love with it. Uh, to answer Blade's question. What oh, Tycho's blocking our fucking exit here? Oh, did you see that the time of day just changed? A lot of people don't know that that happens, that there's a day-night cycle in Fallout. If you wait long enough, it'll cycle through it. Oh, Blade, the, the issues, I think, are being overblown. I think a lot of people are overreacting to very small things. Definitely so, give it a shot for yourself and check evidence. it out. It's fucking worth it. Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Uh, no, I wasn't a. I wasn't anybody in the show, Sean. <laughs> well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm gonna take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. And listen, this town owes you a lot. All right. What do I think of New Vegas? I love it, dude. I love it. I love all of it. There was a couple of things that I saw in the show that I, I went, mmm, but uh, they were fine. Like, there was nothing that made me go, what the fuck, you know, like, get all pissed off or anything at all. Like, at all. It made me laugh out loud sometimes. It made me feel for the characters. 
It made me care about uh, the stories it was telling. Did a fucking great job. Did a fucking great job, in my opinion, obviously, but... Dude, I bet you Ian fucks this up so hard with his burst ass SMG. He's gonna burst right through me or dog me. Oh, thank God. Get fucked, Gizmo. We did it, boys. And we got 500 caps. Alright. Okay, now we uh, start to have a little fun here. Let's uh, get this up to 50, at least. And then uh, I'm going to dump the rest into guns just so we have it. Getting our guns skill up. Uh, save. We'll go back and loot Gizmo. A cool thing with Gizmo's uh, corpse is it'll decay. So if you come back a little, you know, you come back and a couple hours later, come back a couple hours later, like he becomes a skeleton and then bugs start flying around him. It's, it's cool that they did that. Yeah, we'll probably come. We'll probably finish the game in this series. I mean, in this series, in this stream. Um, I can really finish the game anytime I want, if I'm being honest, uh, but through a couple of venues, but like I can even finish it like the correct way at pretty much any moment past this. Um, uh, so yeah, like I, I, I plan on finishing the game this stream. All right, let's, uh. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to put this out. Good lord. Fuck out of here. Okay. This is the box of noodles I was referring to. Instant spaghetti. Who a touch of my spaghetti? Alright, and then, uh. <laughs> uh, here's that mouser I'm referring to as well. Unique to Gizmo. He's the only one that has one in the entire game. Um, I do think you can get ammo elsewhere, though, for it. Um, another 50 caps on his guard here. This door, I think, is locked, but we can lockpick it. And I think there's a TV dinner in here. Oh, no, fuck. This bag holds other items, and as you can see, it held 100 caps. The lighter, I'm, I don't think it really has any use in game, but it's neat, so I'm going to take it with me. We're going to read this uh, gun book, though. Oh, because I'm over 100%, I think. I learned nothing new from the book. Fuck. I'll need to remember that. Okay, nothing in there. And maybe the TV dinner is in here. Well, oh, hmm. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know where the TV dinner is, then. Fuck me. Fallout does. Uh, Fallout One does not have the highlight on ground items key like Fallout Two does. You have to like hover your cursor over it. Um, I'm not going to worry about the skulls gain. I, I don't really care about finishing that that story, as Cody Rhodes would say. Uh, we're we're not going to finish that one. Yeah, I've been wanting to play Four again, so I'm glad that Fallout London's coming out soon. Uh, the next the next gen update will probably cause some problems with that. I know the team is aware of it, and they're, they seem to be taking that seriously and making sure that shit doesn't go too haywire with that. But, uh, that doesn't mean that I'm, like, totally not looking forward to... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm totally not looking forward to, uh... We're gonna wait until morning, or noon rather. Um, anyway, it doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to the next gen update of Fallout 4. It's just, I'm very excited for Fallout London. 
London is coming out on the 23rd, and the next gen update for Fallout 4 is coming out on the 25th. So, Mantis, what's the coolest power armor in the series? Favorite is one thing, but what's the most awesome overall? Um, the APA Mark II and Fallout 2 has to be. It has to be. It looks the coolest, it's like the strongest, and um, it being like directly from the Enclave, I think, is you know, gives it a few more points. <laughs> Yeah, London's just a mod. It's not like a official release, but it is a DLC-sized mod for Fallout 4. So, it'll be giving uh, giving us a lot of content, but it's not an official release. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I want to do first here. <clears throat> I think we're gonna go up to the Brotherhood. Oh, wait, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. That's why. We're gonna do work for Decker and Kane here. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's yeah, Fallout name? London is free to play because it's just a mod that you get. Uh, it will be only for the PC version because it's a rather large mod that I'm sure will be hosted on the Nexus and their website. Hey, Keith over here with a fat $5 super chat. Starting the show tonight. You've been waiting for your better half. We uh, fall out, watch your video. Oh, you watch my videos too? That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we got the rope this playthrough. Don't you worry about it. Uh, Keith, thank you so much. And uh, I, I think you're going to like the show a lot. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Background. There's a certain merchant who's, how to phrase this, not cooperating fully with the underground. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife and exterminate them. It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. Another 2,500 when the job is done. Will you do it? Very nice. The merchant lives in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Is it Keith David? Your initial I think pay will be handed so. to you on your way out. I think so. I can't look it up right now. But whenever Decker shows up on the stream, everybody always talks about his voice actor, so... Uh, Happy says yes, it is Keith David. Fuck him up. So we're doing this job for Decker right now. He wants me to take out this uh, wealthy merchant here. Um, I'd say it's a lower karma kind of situation that we're involved in right now. But um, we take out Jane from the Children of the Cathedral. 
after this mission, which allows us to get um, radiation medicine. Jeez, Louise. Radiation medicine and uh, a robe, which are going to be needed later on in the run. So that's what I'm up to right now. What's my favorite piece of soundtrack from Fallout 1? Personally, I love Radiation Storm, the glow theme. Um, sometimes I forget the like actual names of them. Uh, Metallic Monks is up there. I think that, the, is that the, this is the one that's playing right now, right? HPZ uh, says Metallic Monks, man, or unless he was answering the question as well. Um, but uh, I think my favorite is the one, is it something of a false god, Acolytes of a false god? The one that plays over the cathedral with the church bell in the background, that's Mark Morgan's soundtracks. And he does the soundtracks for uh, the Wasteland games, so it's good that he's still like working in video games. He's so fucking good at it. Shoot him in the dick. Can't wait to get the sniper rifle. Then we'll be doing some damage. That was no good, what just happened right there. I'm gonna take one more, fuck it. You know what? Ooh. There we go, that was weird. The game's like locking up, I don't know what's going on. Usually doesn't do that. Oh, my character disappeared too. What the fuck is going on? Ooh. What is going on? Oh, it crashed again. Holy shit. We saved right before we came in to do this battle. Good lord. I wonder why it's fucking crashing so much. I'm. Uh, the, it's crashed twice during the stream, and I... Usually have z like zero crashes with the first one, maybe one or two. Oh, well, I guess this would be one or two, but like we're talking like within multiple streams. I'm uh, getting the window back up to the size here. Um, shit. There we go. <laughs> so sorry about the crash, everybody. I knew something was up when my character was disappearing and everything was all fucked up. Stickman, um, I don't think the NCR was completely bodied. I think uh, the, the, the section of the NCR that we were viewing, I think they are it got hit during a pretty serious conflict, but I don't think that the NCR are, are fucked um, completely. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll see more of them. Come on, get in there. Let's hopefully not crash. Oh, I think I dropped him first shot this time. Nice. That is good. Oh, and Tycho just put in some work too. Oh, he's eating stems. They, they might have been bodied, Stickman. Uh, like I was uh, saying to some, uh, like to everybody uh, earlier, A, the NCR is an idea. Multiple people will 
claim this ideology and run with this ideology when you cut the head off that snake two more grow back like um i don't ever see the ncr disappearing from the wasteland but then also if the story plays out that the ncr gets fucking bodied for a while like you can't be on top forever you know what i mean like sometimes that's what happens but i imagine in season two we're gonna get much more of an info dump on that yeah ncr is a big state mark thank you fuck jeez louise shady sands is not the only like hub for the ncr the hub for example uh is another ncr like uh strength uh anyway we'll see boys i don't think it's I, I don't think we have much to worry about i think it's in good hands again that's just my uh my take but okay i was just making sure i'm aiming at the right people here that should be doing more damage because i want to do more damage Care of these fellas. And the boys are out here doing work. Okay, we can't really get out. Oh shit! Tycho just accidentally killed dog meat. F's in the chat. What's the take on the Iron Man T60? Yeah, uh, there was definitely some design choices made, um, but none of it bugged me really. Like it really didn't. Like uh, it looked fine. It, it it operated like an advanced suit of power armor. I would think would operate. Like I don't know. Again, this is just my take on it, but it, it like none of that shit really bugged me at all. Like nothing in the show stood out to me as like a super red like super red flag like it, it just didn't i'm going to give ian this uh 14 mil so i'm pretty sure that's what it is yes and then we'll tell him to draw his best weapon Okay. Then, there's a guy in here and that chest. I don't really care about that anymore. Uh, there we go. Thank you for the S for dog meat. I don't really care about looting the rest of the house. All right, and then there's gonna be some more hostile guards out here. I usually do this with the sniper, but uh, we'll get him. Wow. There you go, Ian. Fuck yeah. 42. Get out of here. HPC is apparently gonna go take some mushrooms. We'll be safe, brother. Uh, we can also get um, that gun from uh, this quest down here.
Good day again, my friend. Excellent. You see, the last job I gave you was a test, and you did exceedingly well. Now comes a job of importance. As you may know, the children of the cathedral have been gaining influence in this town. And frankly, I won't stand for it. A small matter. Kill the High Priestess Jane. Once she's gone, this little nuisance will be ended. Interested? I believe I'm beginning to like you. The pay is 1,000 up front and 4,000 upon completion. And trust me, I'll know when it's done. Talk to Cain on your way out. Okay, how many caps are we sitting on now? 8,438. Okay, so now we're gonna go take out Jane. Oh yeah, we can blackmail Iguana Bob too. We'll do 100 caps a day. Alright, anyway. What do I think about the movie that's coming up? What are you referring to, Trashka? I'm not quite sure I follow. Let's also close this. Why do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? This is why it's okay. Oh, the Borderlands movie? Um, I'm, I'm not super familiar with Borderlands. I, I know that some people were upset about the cast or whatever, but I don't know. It looks like it's going to be all right. Continue to mock me and I will have you thrown out. Then why are you here? What Trust would McNeil, bring you to the children of the cathedral? <laughs> you are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment with perseverance. Yeah, we're gonna shoot her in the face. Nice. Nice kick there, Tycho. Wrecked. And dude over here. Bodyguard. Yeah, we got this. Use some stimmies. Shoot that fucking guy. The whole... Uh, I mean, and we could have looted it without taking out the church but the real benefit of this is just going up into this top room when uh, my, my cursor is invisible right now but uh that top left room this one up here because in this shelf is the delicious rad medicine and purple robe that I so desperately want and desire All right, the deed is done. Let's see what we got here. Not a whole lot, and it doesn't matter. So this is locked, we'll fix that. Okay, so we got a bunch of ammo for not only our rifle right now, but that's also the sniper rifle ammo. We got Rataway, Stim Packs, Purple Robe. Empty this shit out. Rad X, Super Stimmy. Let's go. And we'll have a bunch more caps from Decker. 
which is always nice. Yeah, Trust McNeil was Jane. Yeah. Uh, Mom in Futurama. Um, yeah, she's, she's in everything. She's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> one of the best, greatest of all time. One of, one of them for sure. So we'll turn this job in. The end. Um, now we're going to run up to the Brotherhood real quick. Good old brotherhood. The radios weren't shown as dirty as they should have been. Well, I am actually questioning if they're if they were even raiders because uh, that that leader of the NCR was the one leading them through the vault. So un unless she just recruited a bunch of fucking Moldova or whatever her name was, unless she just recruited a bunch of fucking raiders, which is totally possible because they did look like raiders, but um, brother. Lost Hills. Let's go. That was way off. So we'll get our suicide mission from Cabot here. Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He, uh, said you have to complete a quest first. A whole quest. Have you guys ever had to complete a whole quest before? <laughs> I think it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, also... Well, one thing I like about the Brotherhood here, and I think they really uh, drive the point home on the show, is that ooh, you have to go to the ruins they don't, of the ancient order. That's like I guess they have a bunch of recruits uh, or whatever, but go inside they send you on a suicide mission. That proves that when you um, when you ask to join up, this place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never we seen got before. The, oh, oh my god, uh, it's the also dogs radioactive. Barking. <laughs> You'll do it. You will? Great. Just bring it back here. Good luck. You guys ready to go to West Tech? Or what? The Overseer in Fallout 3 is Almodover? No, uh, that's... Uh, the Overseer in Fallout 3 is, uh... Amada's father. Wait, is that... Is that... I don't know. If that's their last name, I... Uh, I, I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. But I was referring to the Fallout show. Moldova. M m I, I, I don't know if it's Moldova or Moldover... Uh, Moldovo or whatever. However they say it. Something like that, but... That was her name. Yes, this cabin fellow is full of shit, man. Mole Daver. Okay. Mole Daver. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Fuck. I'll get the hang of it. Ooh, this is a fucking party. Let's go, boys. We handled that shit. Let's 
see what they got, boys. Take the caps, that's for sure. Take your ammo, that's for sure. Sure. What else you got for me? That's fine. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. To the glow we go. West Tech. Direct hit from a nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb. Say that a hundred times in a row. Just got into this Fallout or F Online. Dude, F Online is fantastic. This is just the original Fallout. But uh, I used to play the shit out of F Online, man. Those were the days. Cold Daver and Tandy. Oh, uh, you felt some similarities between the two. Well, maybe she was trying to bring it back, man. Do I think they had a fling or something? Yeah, perhaps. I think that's perhaps why uh, the father reacted so strongly. I think she was, like, trying to move on with the kids with Moldaver. Maximus survived in a fridge. Uh, I love that callback. I love that callback. They did it on purpose for sure. So no, I didn't get pissed off about it. Who cares? It's a funny tongue-in-cheek reference to like all you know the that whole meme. Okay, the reason we're stopping right before here is because we're gonna take our radix before we get over that. We should be like 100% radiation resistant now, or at least have 100 radiation resistance. Oh, fuck, we did it again. I didn't bring the rope. Somebody even brought that up before. Luckily, we have a save that's pretty close. We just need to go back to the hub and buy a rope. <coughs> We're only a few squares out. But I think we do uh, end up not, we might not get that Raider encounter again, so. So long to that XP, but that's okay. A rope can be found in here. Thank you for the live reacts, by the way. Okay, we're just gonna trade them like, ooh, well, you know what? Here's something we could do. Pistol, book, 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 book. Let's kind of boost our shit up a little bit. Pistol, pistol, all this shit. You can take that, take that. So clean out our inventory a little bit. Oh, we're already over. How much for 27 stim packs? $5,000, please, he says. Let's uh, give it to him. We have enough for sure. I'm keeping my Nuka Cola. Nice try, buddy. Nice try, friend. Hmm. For the iguana. Won't need the dynamite. Damn. Will the Super Sim send it over? No. Oh my god. Oh, I need the rope, by the way. That's like the whole point of the fucking transaction. Um. Okay, I'll allow that. All right, so now we have 52 stimmies. It's a very good number. The rope and uh, some skill books. Read. 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 Alright, so now we've skilled up a bit there. Did I sell my ammo? I was gonna say, holy shit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, 
Oh yeah, fucking, I don't think there's any way out down here, so let's uh, go back up. Now we're accurately prepared for the glow. But I ought to just swing by fucking Necropolis and get the water chip. I mean, we're right here. I'm trying to think if that's wise. Fuck it, we're fine. Oh, we did get another Raider encounter. Good. Yep. Oh my god. Thank you for those live reacts. I think I'm seeing them out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Again, don't know. I have no idea what effect they have on the stream, but I do appreciate you. Okay, we'll take the caps over here. These. Thank you. I don't care about the rest. Let's go. Oh, you didn't have a water chip growing up? You just drank out of the crick? Ooh, look at this encounter. The ground ahead is littered with debris and bodies. It looks like an old battle zone. All right. Nobody has anything, which is kind of wild. Kind of a wild encounter, I like that. Yeah, 10, 10 millimeter ammo encounter, that's a good name for that one. Okay, here we go. And I typically don't do like all of the glow quests. Maybe one day we will. Um, but I wouldn't do it at this moment anyway. I'd come back when I was better geared up. Okay. I know there's traps and shit up here, so... Oh, look at that. Should be good now. This yellow key card is a reference to Doom. There's multiple key cards that uh, can be found here. Okay, man, that's all we're doing here for right now. Go play chess with Zax. Yeah, that's a good way to die. The glow, uh, it's not a vault. It's the West Tech facility. Uh, it was a military, like, tech facility that houses a lot of fucking crazy shit, and it was uh, directly hit with a warhead, yeah. Okay, so... To the hub. 
Yeah. The UFO with the Velvet Elvis and the Alien Blaster. That's the best fucking encounter in the game. Yeah, Big Mountain getting represented with Frederick Sinclair. Oh my god. Couldn't believe it. Okay, so. Wait, this isn't where we're going. Oh my god. Fine. I got a red scorpion. Holy shit. You find it, uh... Mark, Mark finds it strange that Sinclair was depicted the way he was in the show. It's a, like, fat old man. But, uh... I mean, all we have before was, like, artwork and a skeleton. You know I mean? Like, he, he, like, painted himself on... the Sierra Madre walls and stuff like that, but, like, who knows how accurate... You know, he made it. And it also makes sense of, like, uh, why Dean Domino was such a threat, too. Like, if he was really, like, just some old sugar daddy type. Hey, you're back. Great. But, uh, this is great. I've gone up a level. Strange that it didn't give us the level thing there. Um, I do like my BRDs. Truly do. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to dump it into guns. Okay, there's a few things we need to do here. Oh hell yeah, I'd be uh, in a corn-based cult religion. Fucking love corn, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, so... Well, he'll give us ammo, too. Um, I think he gives his Brotherhood armor here. Which is fine, honestly. We need to go talk to Vri real quick, though. Yeah, let's get some corn emojis in the uh, chat for uh, this apparent corn religion that a uh, stickman has started to stop the tomatoes <laughs> the mighty cob uh, I'm a big fan of dude like you know what honestly cream corn isn't all that bad but um you get like I'd say an unhealthy amount of butter but you get some butter mix that shit around with some corn like that shit is delicious Uh, 
Oh shit, this is not at all where I wanted to be. Hey, Soapy Banana, good to see ya. The High Priest is named Cobb. Alright, we got it. I'm about to talk to Vri here. To get the holo tape that'll prove the master it's to a shut fine up. Day for learning. Can I help you? I record the yeah. What can I help you with? Um Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. Uh However, yeah, Soapy, I like the follow show a lot. Out, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Everything will be okay. All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. All right. So, we have this holodisc now. Use it, and now we can prove the master wrong, especially if we, we need to hold on to that all it is. But, uh, his plan is fucked. Yeah, I'd love to hear more about the master in the show. That'd be fucking dope, too. Alright. Fuck out of here. Yeah, we'll, we'll cook the master pretty easily. Pretty easily. Yeah, uh, Happy, I, I grabbed uh, the commander decks for the Magic the Gathering Fallout stuff. I'm usually not into Magic, like uh, I don't really play it. I've never played it before. Um, and I don't really have a desire to play it, but I wanted to collect those uh, those cards big time because the, the, artwork, the artwork is fucking amazing, which it usually is. Okay, so we're going to run down to Necropolis real quick and get that uh, water chip. We'll probably just leave the ghouls to die. Um, so I always forget what... Uh... Oh, there's a, actually, there's some stuff we can do in the hub. I always forget which, like, manhole to go down when it's uh, time to, like, fix their water pump in uh, no Necropolis. <sighs> My fucking nose ever since spring started. Itches all the time. Alright. We can do this. <laughs> what do you want? Time is money, chit-chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. <sighs> Don't spoil it. Make them quick. Uh, Rutger will handle that. Uh, he does all the trivial stuff for the Fargo traders. Now get on out, because I got work to do. Yeah, I'm, uh, Roby? Robbie? Um, I'm stoked on, um... Just one. On what we're going to see uh, when it comes to creatures. Listen, I don't have time to swap stories with you. Hey, dude. What do you want? Time is money, chit chat. Hot damn, someone with gut. <sighs> don't spoil. Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take him out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Well, there's, uh... <clears throat> Speak of the death bar, by the way. But I never listen to those rumors. You, uh... You really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the death claw. But... But I don't know nothing about that. Listen, you. I ain't scared. I'm... Cautious. You'd be stupid not to be with the Death Claw. Look, go talk to Beth. She'll tell you more. 
You got it. Done and done. Okay, let's go get it done. And we get to talk to Harold. Which is always a treat. We ask Beth here about the Death Claw. And she'll point us towards Harold. And we're also gonna just get the sniper rifle real quick too. Oh, it's, it's spelled like that, but it's pronounced Robbie. All right, Robbie, you got it. The, the, I, like I read it, I was like, Roby. I was like, well, that couldn't possibly be right. So I was like, Robbie? <laughs> uh, yep, yep. All right. Give me that snipey. One sniper rifle, please. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot to barter with, so we'll just give him 5k. Right off the top. Okay. I can. That's not right. Yeah, I was 10 off. Fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm so dumb. All right, there we go. Okay. Okay. I'm only I'm one of the only streamers that figured out a happy trash can. It's a, like it, it instantly pops to me that that's your name. Yeah, it, it it was a weird take on the gulpers, but they did try to explain it too, so I think my chat window. Holy shit. Okay, my chat. Why is it doing that? That's super fucking weird. That is so weird. Here, one second. My uh, fucking chats is like cutting off. Whatever. <laughs> okay. We'll be fine. Now I can see, I can actually, I can see it, but like, yeah, for some reason it was getting all cut off. Let's talk to Harold. Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. Ooh. That thing. Frank, okay. Yeah, we're gonna kill it. Can't look. Good luck. Okay. Talk to his friend out here. All right, let's go. Eight hundred XP just for going here. We're about to fuck this thing up. About to fuck us a death claw, boys. Oh, I wish I didn't miss. Would have been nice. Ninety hit points on that one. That was good. Okay. 
<laughs> Damn, Ian coming in with the knife. Hey, Soapy, thank you for the uh, tier one subscription there. I appreciate you. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, I appreciate you, uh, Soapy. And yeah, if you're watching on YouTube and uh, you want to support the channel, think about liking the stream. That helps out a lot. Uh, and if you really want to support, jump over to Twitch and follow me over there because I'm trying to grow the channel over there a little bit as well. And then, of course, for more direct supporting, there are links in the description for a, a stream donation that gets your name on the board. And so do Super Chats if you're into that kind of thing. Those are not required. Uh, I love chatting with everybody. And uh, uh, I'm just happy to be here hanging out with you guys while playing some Fallout. Would I eat 200 plus uh, Blamco mac and cheese? Um, yes. Given the context, if we were in like the Fallout world, I mean, like, it wouldn't be too bad, right? <laughs> oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So that should be... Yep, okay. Yeah, give me that Velveeta shells and cheese, let's go. <laughs> Where all the other foods are monster meat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yum yum deviled eggs would be where it's at. You catch me eating those bastards all the time. All the fucking time. Well, what do you got for me? What, do I look a crate shy of a load? Did you even see the death claw? You. You killed it? Well, yeah, we did it. Post. We did it. So nothing happened there. Make it quick. Go talk to. Oh, Rudiger, <laughs> Rutger. <laughs> Boom! Thousand XP. Thank you very much. All right, so now we're just gonna head over to Necropolis, grab that water chip, and uh, fuck some stuff up here. And like I said, I'm probably just going to uh, <laughs> leave the town of Necropolis to die. in the sewers of Necropolis. The water chip uh, can be found here because there's a vault that still has a working one here. Dude, that Mad Max game is so good. We need to fucking stream that. I want to play... I, like, want to finish it. I've uh, played, a f like, a lot of it, but I really want to, like, play it all the way through. Okay. We are not going to fix the water pump. Because, again, I always forget what ladder to go down to fucking fix it. Because uh, you have to grab this, like, junk piece that's down there. I don't really care.
Okay. like ghoul. How come? Ooh, that was snazzy-like, huh? Blue, tell me watch place. Not let no one in. Not normals most. Take normals to the loo. Hey. Ooh, hairy confused. You not ghoul. You not normal. Mm, what you? Oh, okay. Harry, think what to do. Mm. All right, Harry, you have a good time, brother. Harry's your favorite there, professional loser? Well, uh, he's got to be somebody's favorite, you know? These guys will be a problem. Uh, Dead Eye Kid, yes, I did watch the Fallout 2 show, and I, uh, liked it a lot. Skyrocketed to the top of, uh, my favorite programs. Whoops. I forget what's in here, if anything. Nope. All right, let's go grab that water chip. Yeah, Uncle Cha, I agree. Am I, 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 well, bloody mess is a trait in the first Fallout uh, Red Impact, and we don't have it, but there is a way to still shoot Jackarin, the overseer, at the end. We just gotta spam. Uh, shit. It's weird that it's not showing me, like, the little level tab when I level up. It's super weird. Um, let's dump into this. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, I like that death claw school that you know teasing the death claws. Yes, please. Yeah, that's soapy soap. That's what I'm saying. It looked to me like the fall of Shady Sands happened in 2277, and then later the nuke got dropped on it um, because the arrow is pointing like it's like further on down the timeline, you know? So, oh yeah, hopefully we get some Cazadors. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, we out. No, I wouldn't say, there's no way the Death Claws are extinct. I think they were just showing off the skull of one so that people maybe 
you know, not familiar with it would like see the skull and be like, oh shit, what the fuck is that? And then people familiar with it could be like, ah, nice, you know, like, here they come. Now the best option here <laughs> would be for Ian and Tycho to die gloriously in battle at Mariposa. If they don't, then they're going to have to be dismissed outside the cathedral. But I guess we could pick them back up. Talk to Jack around here. Have you found the chip? Okay, dokey. One moment. The chip is initializing. Here, there, 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 there it goes. Self test is grain. Reboot is. Do good. I think they'll touch the lo ah, the Lovecraftian elements? Yeah, for and sure. Because the like loves that chip. <laughs> oh, you've. While he's talking, I'm going to grab another this. drink here real quick. You've done it. Um. Nothing? No. Oh, no. It was something. Don't downplay what you've done. You've saved a lot of lives. All right. Now we need a report on what's out there. Please, go to the library. Sorry about that. A man's thirst must be must be quenched with Mountain Dew. Okay, so let's get this up to at least 150 speech. We can just fucking knock that up to. Bam! Let's look at the build for a minute. Those are the perks we have. Those are the traits we have. <laughs> Level 8. Um, there's our kills. We're doing all right. The Brotherhood are big metal geeks. I'm going to have to agree. Hey, Stickman, like I said, I, uh, I like me some to let you know creamed corn or uh, some sweet corn with uh, a bunch of butter on it. That's, that's where my allegiance lies. You d I don't like your reports. Yes, yes, the, the mutants. The population is far greater than could be ex exactly as long as someone has created you. All right, so he sends us back out to deal with the mutants. Hey, uh, how would you say that? Burrito? Well, not burrito, Jesus Christ. Barretto? Barretto the basis, not burrito the base the basis. Mmm, buttered sausage, yes. But uh, anyway, um, love the show. What uh, I binged it the other day. Can't get enough of it. Top tier. Yeah, the overseer sucks. Fuck him. We're gonna kill him at the end of the run. Don't worry. If you spam A as his dialogue is going, you'll enter into combat with him before it can like not do it. And. Uh, We'll be able to get the best death death animation in the game. Yeah, I played WWE 2K24. I love it, McMuggy. Uh, that's a fucking fantastic game. I made a video about it, actually. Called uh, WWE 2K24 is a perfectly cromulent wrestling game. And I recommend it if you want to hear my uh, take on it. I, I really enjoyed uh, 2K24 a lot. Okay, one thing that we need to make sure that we do. 
because uh, I don't necessarily need my robes on just yet. Because we may be encountering boogans. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the Brotherhood armor. I have a good one, stick man. Oh my god. Dunzo. Okay. And if we want to farm special encounters, being out here in the desert's the best place to do that too. But we made it to Mariposa. Okay. I don't think having the robot's gonna actually even help us here. So let's save. This is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers. Hey, when spiteful they said vids they with a fat five-pound super chat. Do you it think so any of the player nice characters will be included? In the no, I don't think any of the player characters will. But um, I'm hoping we see more people from the games. But I, I think uh, doing that with the player characters might be, you know, uh, a bad idea. Dude, I don't know why my chat is like all fucked up. Uh, let me see here. It's weird that it won't just... Here, I'm going to refresh my chat here. Sorry about this. It's so weird. That it won't just... <laughs> All right, we'll try it like that. Um, uh, yeah, no, I agree. The show, uh, I, I went into the show with an open mind and I had a great time. Why, when you become one of us, of course, I can't, we shall see. Okay. So he's going to walk towards us, try to hit us, fuck him. Um, and then pretty much as soon, I'm going to try this strat again where... As soon as we get through that, go up here. Maybe you do need the robe. Maybe you don't. Um, it's right here. We're trying to get a good science roll on this. It's not working. Come on now. There we go. Pretty sure this is the right one. Let's fucking go! Hey, downright spiffy, you have a fantastic day. And if you don't... Alright, uh, let's go. So, for my next trick, it's spamming combat 
I'm just gonna cheese through this by sp uh, spamming the A button and just fucking going this way. I I don't want to ask him about anything. I will fuck I will fuck him up. Uh, but looks like we won't have to. We're still spamming our way through this hallway because we are on a time limit. And damn it, I am not gonna waste it. Uh, dealing with the super mutant menace. Okay, we're probably good. Ooh, ooh, I fucked up. I fucked up, boys. That's fine. There we go. Still killing it. Oh, get the fuck out of the way, Tycho. Oh my god. So we're heading down. To, uh, the safe zone here. And again, we actually might just be good. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, except out here. Almost, boys. So yeah, what I'm doing, uh, right here is cheesing it a bit, yes. Um, I'm spamming the A button to engage combat and close combat as fast as I can so that uh, the super mutants don't have enough time to attack us during combat and we can just get through without any uh, hassle. I did that because I didn't want to really fuck with it, but um, that's something that you're not able to do in Fallout 2, at least I wasn't able to do it. And uh, here's the explosion of Mariposa. But back to what I was saying, Spiteful Vids, thank you very much for that fat, fat five pound super chat. I really appreciate you. And uh, hopefully I answered your question sufficiently. If I didn't, let me know and I'll try to elaborate a bit more. We gained a level, by the way. Um, I do like my BRDs, but we don't really need it. Moving forward, let's... Uh, Yeah, fine, fuck it. Um, yes. Okay. So now, we're gonna run down and, I mean, there's a couple places we didn't, we didn't really go to the boneyard, we didn't go to like, you know, a lot of that stuff. But uh, we're going to go down to the cathedral and confront the master. Let's see how it goes. Ooh wee. We may or may not be able to handle this, but uh, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Ooh wee. This is a bad encounter. The companions might not make it. Oh my god. Yeah, Ian's out of here. He's gonna get wrecked.
<laughs> hey Dale, good to see ya. Ian legit left. Ooh, get fucked. Oh my god. There we go. Oh. We almost got it. Ian was killed. F's in the chats, please. F's in the chats. Both Twitch and YouTube, please, let's get an F for this brave, amazing companion. Ian is the realest one of all time. I can't believe this. Thank you for your F's at this trying time. Okay, we actually made it through, even though Ian did not. Good XP there, too. Okay, so we're almost to... The Boneyard or LA. Oh, another Raider encounter. We can handle this. Really? kick beautiful nice Okay, to the cathedral we go. And my favorite song on the Fallout, uh, the first Fallout's soundtrack. You can... See you later, buddy. It was nice knowing you. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Ooh, we almost made a mistake. Yeah, Philippe, I love this game too. It's just one of the best games that's ever been fucking conceived. I don't remember inviting anyone to my room, and yet I have a visitor. Why? What could you possibly offer me?
go on. Fine. I will take you to the master, but if you are lying, you will know. So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. Very demanding for one in your tenuous position. But I can respect your needs. The unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. 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 One goal. 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 One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals! They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. All that... Resist! Yes. And all those that are required for the... Unity? As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days. But under... Unity. Control. And protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. And what is that? Preposterous! The FEV2 virus doesn't destroy the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Do you have... Proof? I must... Digest this information. Yeah, see, luckily, you hang on to... I understand the, you made a clever forgery. Vri, and you made this up to fool me. Fool and like me. he denies it at first, but if you tell him like you're just denying the facts in front of you, but it cannot be. He'll end up being like, this "Oh would fuck!" Mean that All my work has been for nothing. Everything that I've tried to a, a failure. It can't be. 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 I don't think that I can continue. Continue to have done the things I have done. In the name of progress and healing, it was madness. <coughs> I can see that now. Madness. Madness? There is no hope. Leave now. Leave. While I hope they mention have. stuff about the Master in Season 2, man. I want to I wanna hear all about this shit. Now what we got to look out for is not having a psychic nullifier and getting fucked in this corridor. Five hit points there. 8 hit points, 11 hit points, 12 hit points. What? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we've bluffed our way past the guards. Open the hidden door. And we're about to finish the game completely. And again, like... The endings that I got here aren't necessarily the best. Like, because I was pretty lazy with some of the areas, and I didn't go to every location, but, uh... We're doing it under three hours here. That wasn't, that wasn't so bad. If Tycho's still out here, I'll take him with me so he doesn't die in the explosion. Alright, tea in the chat for Tycho. And for the end. Because we just did it, boys.
The death of the Master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But it is the destruction of the Vats that neutralizes the mutant threat. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no-man's land. The ghouls of Necropolis learn firsthand the final meaning of dehydration as their city succumbs to the desert sands and the water runs out. Without their water-purifying control chip, they do not survive. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss and of life. And keep in mind, we're going to kill the overseer. The, <laughs> the advanced technology of the Brotherhood is slowly reintroduced into New California with little disruption or chaos. The Brotherhood wisely remains out of the power structure and becomes a major research and development house. The Desert Raiders eventually regroup and manage to terrorize small communities in the years following your adventures. Your involvement with the various places and people of the Wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened to you? Here we go. This bastard. You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've accomplished, what you've endured. There's no way the people of the vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? He's not wrong, but... What if we are the only... He's handling it world? poorly, in my opinion. You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. Hope you guys are ready for the best death animation I'm in the sorry. entire game. They definitely did it on You're purpose. You're a hero, and you have to leave. In the dick. Oh, maybe it won't let me do an aimed shot. Oh, it's not oh, there we go. I missed! Oh, is he gonna attack me? Oh no! I think the game's just gonna end. Oh! You escaped this time, Jackerin. Or the game's just gonna freeze. <laughs> well, Jackerin escaped this time, boys. Uh, typically would have killed him, but uh... Fuck. Anyways, that was the original Fallout. I didn't know that was possible either, Philippe. Fucked up. It's fucked up. Uh, but it did crash a couple of times on us, so this is all adding up. Um, it's weird that it's like still... It's not closing. Um, here, let me do something real quick. Okay. Where is... okay. Alright, I ended the task on it. It was very good to play the original Fallout with you guys and 
chat and have a good time to everybody who uh sent super chats a uh, spiteful vids uh soapy banana becoming a tier one over on twitch thank you guys so much um i'm gonna be back with fallout 2 uh typically uh i would have done the restoration patch for fallout 2 but since we're doing this different kind of series i'm gonna do the standard one but uh yeah thank you guys for coming out that'll either be perhaps maybe later tonight but uh probably by tomorrow um thank you guys so much and i will uh, see you on the next one it uh it has been mantis Thank you.